Vijayanandam, this is Srinitya Maya Titananda for NTV News, live from Dhyanapida Mashram, Bidu. It's Wednesday, June 1st, 2011. The headlines. In the morning satsang, Swamiji spoke on the topic. What are the three kinds of karma? Today's miracle extraordinaire. Rudraksha in Malaysia and Oman and Vibhuti and Kungum in Kadalur, India, Seattle, Atlanta, Ohio, USA and Malaysia. Swamiji receives Prasad from Thiruvannamalai Temple and Pramodji Muthali, the President of Ram Sena Visista Ashram. Now for the main news. In the morning satsang, Swamiji spoke on the topic, what are the three kinds of karma? One more eye-opener from Swamiji, where Swamiji explained the concept of Prarabdha Karma, giving us an understanding on how Prarabdha Karma is not a quantity, it is an experience that will get active only in favorable conditions, meaning depending on the mindset or thought patterns that you carry. Let us watch a small clip from the morning satsang. The first level, the karmas you acquired from the moment you started feeling you are an individual independent entity. Please understand. The concept you imbibe, the idea you believe, the word you think is the beginning of the existence of individual identity. Today, whatever word I am uttering are clear technical points. The words you utter outside and inside plays a major role in what you want. The impressions of the karmic effect happened in you. The vasanas and samskaras in you, all put together is called Sanjita Karma. Please understand. I am talking about the three levels, three kinds of karma. This is called Sanjita Karma. Second, whatever karmas you decided to bring to express itself in your life, that part is called Prarapta Karma. And Whatever karmas you accumulate after you assume the body which you are having is called Agamita. Now, Patanjali reveals an important sacred secret. Prarapta is not a quantity. I wanted you to understand this example of a dam. There is a huge dam. Whatever water being stored in the dam is Sanjita. Prarapta is not whatever water getting released from the dam for irrigation. See, if you think the river as the life flow. All the water stored as Agamya. We may think the water released from storage to the life for the time being is Prarapta. But Padanjali reveals a very important technical detail, the sacred secret. The water release is not Prarapta. The shape of the Gateway where water getting released is prarab. Understand? That's the difference. If you miss the morning satsang, you can watch it again on NTV at 8 p.m. Indian Standard Time. The talks will also be available on our Life Bliss Foundation channel on YouTube. In Miracle News, yesterday was an exciting day of miracles for us. It was special because for the very first time 
a big size rudraksha got materialized in malaysia ashram during sri satsang samji blessed malaysia and oman who were watching the satsang live saying rudraksha would get materialized there we can try something today unique come on at least in two three places rudraksha will materialize let's start with the nitya devi in oman and ma nirantara in malaysia and in yelle at least two devotees and let's start at least this three four places today there will be materialization of rudraksha small or big some rudraksha come on yesterday in the evening we got a report from malaysia that while they were cleaning up their altar to offer food to the deities the stunned and dumbstruck ashramites found this rudraksha sitting on the top of mahameru rise open now the time has come to receive the master's cup of darshan he will fulfill all that we have been seeking our lives rejuvenated by his grace and his blessing filling all my wishes with love and compassion good on it yananda's cup of morning gratitude news on a very big pilot experiment yesterday I tried to tell you that Rudraksha successfully got materialized in Malaysia. A big size, good size, big size Rudraksha got teleported to Malaysia, and I have decided to tell you about a unique variety which is not available anywhere in the market. just to see and prove it is from the teleportation and uh, i'll continue for next one week teleporting rudraksha at least 100 places and i'm sure that's a yeah and we got the unique quality today i'll see that in oman and malaysia Seattle, San Jose, Ohio, Los Angeles, and Phoenix. All these places, at least one or two Rudrakshas are there for you. Very beautiful. Successfully, we were able to do it yesterday. This is the biggest object we ever there for you. and siyaki on adaraja sand powder started materializing in many places and venkateshwara and ayyappa also and all the places <laughs> venkateshwara was also in spain so venkateshwara is also very active great uh, siyaki temple will start expanding the became of jatra avaka great blessings and Kumkum is getting materialized in Mahan Yantra Sand. Now more is coming. Great. Today more Rudrakshas on Oman, Malaysia, Phoenix, Seattle, San Jose, Los Angeles, and Mumbai. The next one week I am going to work only on Rudrakshas. Also. Today, during the morning session, Samji blessed the omen with the Rudraksha, and lo and behold, a Panchamukhi or five-faced Rudraksha started getting formed in Manitya Devi's palms as everyone was watching live. It started as a powder and solidified into a beautiful Rudraksha. She also had turmeric rice and kumkum in her palms. Simply, one 
It is the size and shape of the damn gate which can be altered. We also got news that Kumkum was appearing on the palms and navel of Manirantara continuously in large quantity as the satsang was in progress. Also, another devotee in Atlanta had Vibhuti appearing on her Rudraksha Mala. We also got a report from Kadalur, India, where a devotee reported that she and her mother, who were watching the morning satsang, had Vibhuti appeared on her palms yesterday and today also. Let your eyes open now the time has come to receive the master's call but the Rudarshan he will fulfill all that we have been seeking our lives rejuvenated by his grace and his blessing. The miracles are getting more and more solid and amazing as the days go by. In other news, we also have a short clip for you of Swamiji accepting the prasad from Arunachaleshwara temple in Tiruvannamalai. Also, the president of Ramasena, Pramodji Muthali, visited the ashram and paid his respects to Swamiji. And that's all from us for tonight. Before we end our news, let's hear a quote from Swamiji. With wrong memory, you are in bondage. With the right memory, you are liberated. Thank you for joining us. Tune in for more updates tomorrow on NTV Nityananda.